It's another beautiful Missouri morning. Man, just love the smell of fresh cut grass. Let's get to it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I still haven't cut the grass yet, so uh, I'm gonna have to look into getting a bigger, uh, like a bat wing or just a behind the tractor mower deck because, uh, yeah, that's a lot of grass to cut there. I, I'm not crazy, but uh, we're gonna get over here to the shop. I actually plan on going to the dealership later on today, so uh, I'm looking forward to today. This is going to be a sweet time. Uh, a new dealer basically opened up, and I just want to see what they have in stock. We'll drive down here. We did finish mowing the other day. We burned the midnight oil. We got it all mowed. We got the majority of it. Wait a second. Is that Jim's truck over there? Uh, I don't know about this. Hmm. Guess Jim and my cousin are a thing now. I don't know. Uh, because we, uh, mowed so late in the night, I didn't mow, or, uh, I didn't clean off my, uh, tractors here. As you can tell, they are quite dirty. So I'm gonna get the pressure washer out here. And do we have a lot of pressure washers? Man, I could save a lot of money if I wouldn't have all these pressure washers around. All right, I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna slide this over in between there. There we go. Move that about right there. There we go. Now, well, I'm gonna move it a little bit farther so I can hit, the hose can hit all the items here. So we've got our little uh, Vermeer rake. Got to wash this off. It, I, I'm amazed. I mean, uh, I didn't think that hay was that dry to make this much of a mess. But, oh well. Wash off our beautiful Massey here. Got to wash off that seat. I don't want to sit in mud. I have to let that seat dry so I don't get the wet, the swamp pants, you know what I mean. Of course, we got to wash off our new uh, mower here, our John Deere Moco mower. Can't have something brand new on the farm this dirty. That just looks, that's just unfarmer like there. Uh, what am I talking about? Most farmers don't wash off their stuff. It's because they're super busy and don't have the time to wash off equipment every single day. I'm just one of them farmers that I have to wash off, keep my stuff nice and clean. I think uh, when it's snow nice and clean, it's so much easier to drive around. It's so much more enjoyable, let's just say. Give the old 1086 a good bath washing. All right, we'll pull this back over here, wheel it back. Yep, here we go. Wheel it over here to the shop where we have our stock of uh, pressure washers here. Just in case you need to have, you need to double fist it. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. Double fist it, right? Double fist a pressure washer. If you haven't done that, you gotta try it. Alright, so I think, uh... I think we'll just leave these parked for here right now. We'll let them dry off here, and then we'll go park them. Uh, probably just leave the mower hooked on to the old International, just because uh, I still have to mow the alfalfa field, but because it's going to rain, and I don't want to have that much hay down prior to the rain, because we got it's going to rain in a few days, so I'm hoping this hay dries down. It's not really drying down too well yet. But hopefully it dries down in the next few days and we can get it uh, rolled here. That is the hope. Alright, so I am just curious. I want to go down and see the new dealer that's in town just to see the stock they have in. When is a better time than now? If 
back up over here. I think we'll drive over here just to see how the cattle are doing. Don't think I have to feed them, but they are pretty uh, demanding head of cattle. They sure go through the feed, that's for sure. Let's see. Yep, looking good. Eat some of that pasture grass, by the way. Alright, so we don't have to feed the cattle this morning, which is good. So we can head off to the new dealership. And of course, I did not tell the wifey going to the dealer, because then she'd want to come along and I, I would end up spending money that I don't want to spend yet. Yes, yes, I know, that's a no cop, no stop right there. Wouldn't recommend that, but it's done. Sometimes. So we're coming up here. So we got the big city that grew up over here on our right hand side here. Got the humongous gas station, shell gas station right there. got a Starbucks, which all the young generation love. We got a 7-Eleven, sell some donuts from time to time, which is pretty nice. Because they have a Dunkin' Donuts. We got a few houses that sprung up over there. And while we're here, we got a new dealership, Elk Mountain Realty. Man, holy cow, did they get a stock in. Look at all this stuff. Man, they got so... Man, this is nice stuff here. Ooh, man, this is beautiful. Look at all this beautiful paint. I don't even think I'm wealthy enough to walk in this building here. Wow. Them are some nice cars. Holy cow, is that a Bentley? Oh, that's a Royals Royce. A Royal Royce. Man, how did they get this over here? I thought that was a Bentley at first. Wow, look at that. A forward handle door. Man. That is one clean. This is the price of cars when they start uh, coloring them as wine colors, if you know what I mean. This has got to be some type of wine color that they have here. I know I probably shouldn't be in this thing, but man, look at this thing. This thing is nice. Doesn't even, that must flip up. The display must flip up or something. Whoo! Probably should uh, go talk to somebody before Man, I know I'm probably not supposed to be in here right now, but man, this is clean interior. This is sharp looking inside. Man, whoo, man. Smells like new car, whoo. Man, this is just royalty right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna go uh, see if anybody is around. Wow, we got a ton of vehicles here. Ooh, man. There's some pretty looking trucks here. Let's see if anybody's in. Alright, they said I could test drive anything I want. I did have to, they did have to look at my credit score at first. I don't know why. They must have some uh, weird, they must want to make sure I can at least buy a truck that I'm going to be test driving. I don't know. So, first we got a Chevrolet here. Now this is a clean, what is this, a 90's Chevrolet here? I think so. It's one of my favorite front grills that Chevrolet made right here. Look at that bow tie, old black bow tie. Uh, just a clean, looks like a fairly stock truck. 
Uh, can I get in? Oh, man. What kind of skinny person parks this truck here? I mean, come on. Who who parks this truck like that? I'm going to do the Dukes of Hazard. You can see who modded this truck. It's right there. Beautiful truck. Beautiful. I would not mind having one of these as a, like a... Ooh, listen to that boar. Is that Borla exhaust? Or maybe that's Mega Flow. So we got about 34,000... 34.5. So... That's a pretty good, uh... Mileage. I mean, look at that. They have a cassette deck up there on the radio. I mean, that's... That's ancient right there. Push button, full drive, stick shift. Man, this is beautiful. Huh, it's got a hitch on the back, adjustable. Just beautiful. Love the looks of this truck. Well, that's a clean truck. I would not mind having that on the farm. Just how clean it looks. Somebody obviously kept up with that thing. Now, uh, that's a grill. I love that Chevrolet puts imprints their name in the grill like that. That's impressive. I mean, the bow tie between this is what uh, this is a Silverado 4500. I mean, this the little bow ties in the 90s had nothing. I mean, they upgraded their bow tie. That's for sure. Get them tread on them uh, tires there. So this is a dually. It's got a flatbed on back. This would not be a bad truck to pull around stuff huh this is just like my truck's interior basically beautiful love the little trim on the seats there just awesome wow listen to that thing purr there so this would to be a bad truck still a real nice truck so the duramax in it so it probably has about the same truck. It just can uh, tow more than my uh, 2500 here. Ooh, a 2020 here. Dodge. Now, I'm not crazy about them rims, but we can always trade out some rims here. Ooh, wow. What a nice little motorcycle. Wouldn't mind getting a motorcycle on the farm. I don't know about that number on the back, but it's pretty sweet little motorcycle to have around. Okay, now looks at the interior in here. Now that's the Cummins, as you can hear. Just love how that sounds. Beautiful interior. Well done. It's got the moon roof. Got everything on here. I just love how them lights look on this thing. Such a beautiful truck here. Gonna definitely take them plow mounts off of this thing though. Just not crazy about them. Go over here and give it a little test drive maybe. Like the other truck. Drive around. Sure, we're not going to pull out in front of somebody. Drive down over here. Yeah, we're going to pull up over here. So I wouldn't mind having this truck just a little bit uh, excessive, I think, for the farm. Uh, Probably can't afford the price tag of this truck. Hmm, this it's tempting though. Very, very tempting. Probably shouldn't go to a dealership unless you really plan on purchasing a truck. Beautiful truck. Ooh, what do we have here? I do not know if I like how the rims are set up on this truck. They look like they have uh, spacers in behind them. Uh, it's got the grill, all chrome grill with a red bow tie. I should have definitely put some uh, chrome steps on there. Little Nerf bars. Uh, it's got a tonneau cover. 
Got a drop hitch. Look at that exhaust. Got dual tip exhaust out the back. All chrome. Yeah, they should have definitely put the step size chrome. Does It kind of clashes with the black rims and the chrome on the bumper and the grill and on the trim here and the door handles. Looks just like my truck. A little, uh, it's just a little uh, half ton gasser we got here. Oh, it's got my link on there. Pretty cool. Hooks up. Got my play on the tunes here. Get to play some tunes while we're driving around. See if we can find a station here or so. Go. Beautiful truck. It's got one heck of a sound system in it. Got vehicles all over the place now. Yeah, there wasn't hardly any vehicles before. Holy cow, are we ever going to be able to get out here? Yeah, screw it. Let's just go this way. Well-traveled road. That's probably why the gas station in the gas station, the 7-Eleven went up over there. Maybe we can go into this guy's field and do some donuts? That's what I say. Got fairly good grip here. Can't really even get the arson to move around here. Not a bad truck though. Wouldn't mind having this. Oh wow, close call there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. It's all my life flashing for my eyes. Good thing I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, that was definitely uh, my fault pulling out in front of that car, but they could at least uh, help me and uh, stopped or braked or something. It seemed like they were trying to get me to pele that guy in front of them or something. Maybe it wasn't their friend. Man, I think I want to trade in my truck for this triple C hydro bed. Look at that, all red. Wow, that is a beaut. The white and the red. Man, I know we have basically the same truck, but it's GMC. But man, that thing is sweet looking. That uh, white trim on that bed and that the white truck. might have to do it just because I I hate the way the truck looks now that we lowered it and everything now with these uh these big uh, dualies that they have on this thing man I can't this is, this is beautiful yeah some skinny dude must have freaking parked these trucks or something I don't know how they get out of this door handle and go in over here again White interior looks good on this thing. Hmm. Beautiful truck though. I might seriously consider possibly seeing if they will trade in my truck for this. Obviously I'm gonna take a huge hit, but I just, oh man, it's so beautiful. Just love the look of it. Oh, looky here, we got another 90s or so. This is a Chevy. Just love the grill on these things. Ooh, yeah. Listen to that. Put this old girl in reverse. I'm going to test drive this thing. Would be kind of nice if this was an old black interior. But uh, it's not a terrible interior, I guess. Man. Kind of like going back to this the little, little what is this 5 speed 6 speed Ooh, better stop 
back up a little bit. Traffic's just crazy. The virus going around and everything. People just need to stay home, right? Definitely don't need to be going to the dealership and looking at cars. Drive in over here. Not a bad truck. I don't know. I mean, I think this would be a great truck to have. Just around the farm. Just a work truck. But it's just because this is so... Because this truck was so maintained... Oh, oh, sorry. You're coming. Definitely don't want to hit that truck there. Holy cow. We, uh... Hurry up. Let's go. Alright. Traffic's horrible right now. I think... I don't know. I mean... This is awful tempting just to get one of these trucks, just another work truck. But I have so many at the farm yard right now, I just... I don't know. It'd be kind of hard to get another truck. Just to have around might get this truck and just call it my wife's truck just so I can drive it that's okay right and now look at this thing so I think this is a uh, 80s in late 80s a little Chevy Bronco here so oh sorry 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 this is a blazer not a Bronco I know I know I know you guys are probably yelling at the screen right now. Oh, I would not mind having one of these on the farm. Uh, okay. Something happened to the interior. I mean... Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Listen to that thing. Now that thing purrs a little bit. Think I look good in this old girl. That is a good sounding blazer there. It's not a Bronco. Uh, might have to trade in the wife's vehicle for this thing. Ooh, man. Shuts off hard, but man, I really like that uh, green. I just don't know what it is with that color. It just looks so good, I think. Color looks, just kind of pops, just fits. The big old mud tires on there. It's a good looking uh, blazer there. Looks like we got another Ram truck here. Uh, what is this? This is a flatbed. Hmm. A uh, bad truck right here. I, I mean, it's a Cummins. One ton. Kind of like the appearance of this. Kind of, kind of digging it right now. Man, look inside here. Now that's kind of bright. It's in your face, bright. Look how big that freak screen is in the middle. That's crazy. It's got moonroof. It's got the Cummins. Man, this thing is beautiful. It's a Cummins limited edition. Good looking limited Dodge, just has a few issues with the interior. Not bad looking Dodge though. Like the flatbed on back. Ooh man, we got a 2020 Super Duty here. All blued out. It's a King Ranch Edition. 6.7 liter power stroke. Four F4X. It's a FX4 off road edition, too. Nebraska looks like it came from Nebraska, not a, just a state over. Got the big all the way down the cab moonroof there, sky roof, whatever you call that thing. Look at oh, yeah, here we, we're gonna start up here. It's Man, I don't know if we can afford this truck, but whoo, it's beautiful. I think I would really like a Ford trimmer, but uh, 
don't see one on the lot right now. This thing definitely drives better than the Dodge I was driving earlier. Interior, just, I mean, look how clean and interiors. You, you just almost feel the leather around here. It's interior. Such a nice truck to have. I'm sure we get out of this uh, cement truck's way here. He means business, obviously, because he didn't even try to slow down. Take a quick little turn right here. I know we're not really test driving too far, but you don't really need to, to be honest. Unless you're going to drive it for the whole day. It's, it looks like we got some tour buses stopped at the gas station. And would not mind having this truck, that's for sure. I don't know if it's in the cards today, though. I was gonna get a Ford. I really want that uh, trimmer, probably package. So I think this is a 2017. Ooh, we almost hit that light there, buddy. Yeah, this is another. Uh, this is a uh, three-quarter ton F250, uh, 6.7 liter power stroke. It's got the full cab skyroof. It's got some sweet mudder tires on there. It looks like it has a front and rear bumper aftermarket. Yeah, it's got a winch in the front. I mean, look at that. Just love how the Super Duties imprint that uh, Super Duty on the hood there. Just sweet looking. Look at this interior. Man, just beautiful in here. Utterly beautiful. Man, this would not be a bad truck. It even has got somebody's uh, imprinted there on the leather. I don't know who that is. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah, this thing really has got the power to it. Just tell how much throttle it has. You can really do some donuts here in the field. Such a fun truck to scoot around, have fun in. Yeah, like this. Now that is a truck to have some fun. I really want one of these uh these little motorcycles here. This one I'm gonna I'm gonna test drive this one they have parked up here. Just to see. Let's see if I can lift this off of here. Move this down. There we go. Have fun now. I don't know whose field this is, but I'm definitely going to go explore it. Uh... Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm definitely going to get one of these in the back of my truck today. Can't leave here without one of these. I'm going to work a package deal for now. So I wouldn't mind trading off the Denali one of these days just because I'm a wheeler dealer and I like trading stuff. Why not? But I really want this, uh, this old uh, Chevy here. Hydro bed. I really want this blazer, so a couple beautiful vehicles. I wouldn't mind having that Ford on the end. Man, I just want to trade all my vehicles and trade them off. I don't know. I just, I think we should hold off just to see how our crops do before we purchase this thing. Maybe one day we'll get you. You just don't get sold, okay? You beautiful piece of uh, iron there. Just don't get sold. I think I'm going to talk to him and hopefully we can get that hydro bed here. Trade that off for ours. Just because I just love the looks of that one. So clean and sharp. And maybe throw that blazer in on it. Definitely get this uh, motorcycle loaded up in the back of my truck. See if we can work this package deal or not. Alright, 
got that uh, dirt bike loaded up. We are ready to go home. Maybe one day we'll trade in this Denali. I know you guys probably won't like that, but I'm just one of them people that has to wheel and deal and see if I can trade up, trade in, get something better. But this Denali is perfect for me right now. But we are definitely going to trade for that beautiful white and red truck right up there. So we're going to have to bring our other truck down. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.